great coming in. Good evening and welcome to St. Margaret's Episcopal Church in Palm Desert, California. I'm Samantha Hirsch and thank you for joining us for evening prayer on Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. A link to the bulletin for this service of evening prayer is available on both our Facebook and YouTube posts. If you have a book of common prayer, the serveness of evening prayer begins on page 115. The Book of Common Prayer is also available online at bcponline.org. Please join me in the worship where the words are printed in bold. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not fail. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Let us say a portion of Psalm 19 responsibly by whole verse. I have done what is just and right, do not deliver me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant's good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes have failed from watching for your salvation and for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Grant me understanding, that I may know your decrees. It is time for you to act, O Lord, for they have broken your law. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold and precious stones. I hold all your commandments to be right for me. All paths of falsehood I abhor. Your decrees are wonderful. Therefore, I obey them with all my heart. When your word goes forth, it gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant. I long for your commandments. Turn to me in mercy, as you always do to those who love your name. Steady my footsteps in your word. Let no inequity have dominion over me. Rescue me from those who oppress me, and I will keep your commandments. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears, because people do not keep your law. You are righteous, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. You have issued your decrees with justice and in perfect faithfulness. 
My indignation has consumed me because my enemies forget your words. Your word has been tested to the uttermost and your servant hold it, holds it dear. I am small and of little account, yet I do not forget your commandments. Your justice is an everlasting justice and your law is the truth. Trouble and distress have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your decrees is everlasting. Grant me understanding that I may live. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. After this, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, follow me. And he got up, left everything, and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and there was a large crowd of tax collectors and others sitting at the table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered, Those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick have come to call not the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. Then he said to him, John's disciples, like the disciples of the Pharisees, frequently fast and pray, but your disciples eat and drink. Jesus said to them, You cannot make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them, can you? The days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them and then they will fast in those days. He also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new garment and sews it on an old garment. Otherwise, the new will be torn and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and will be spilled and the skins will be destroyed but new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. And no one after drinking old wine desires new wine, but says, the old is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may become part partakers of your heavenly treasure through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence so to use the resources of nature that no one may suffer from our abuse of them, and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in given, giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born into eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you again for joining us this evening. If you are interested to continue worshiping with us, 
please follow us on Facebook or sub subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click the notification button so you never miss a service. Our next service will be Compline, which will be posted on our Facebook page and YouTube channel on Sunday evening. We also offer two in-person services on Sundays, one at 8 a.m. and then the other at 10 a.m. The 10 o'clock a.m. service is also live streamed on both our Facebook page and YouTube channel. I hope you will join us again in worship. For all of us at St. Margaret's, have a wonderful evening. It's been a joy worshiping with you.